do it again. On again, on about DCC, <laughs> my favourite subject at the moment. This time, solenoid point decoders. I haven't had a lot of experience with these because I'm quite a newcomer to command digital command control. But I must mention this. This is the um, DCC Concepts controller. I think it's called the AD-S8. And it controls, as its name implies, eight solenoid type turnouts. And I found it to be absolutely faultless because it's a very simple to program and b quite capable of using also a, a single pole double throw switch as long as it's just a passing contact type which I've also used on four of my turnouts so as well as responding to commands from the the DCC bus it also work they also work turnouts from from the uh, switch panel which I think is pretty pretty good actually considering this is one of the most reasonably priced for what you get decoders turnout decoders um, on the market I, I believe they're 41 pounds at present from a well-known Liverpool based dealer and um, I have one wired in on my um, N-gate layout that's a work in progress. I'll, I'll come to that in the future, from future film. But um, as it stands, it is an outstanding device, and uh, I can't recommend it highly enough. And actually, it'll even work off an E-Link, the Hornby E-Link. And um, I haven't used it off mine as yet, but I'm told from a very reliable source that if you decode, if you program the turnouts beforehand so they're already set up, for example like mine are from 60 to 65 and you know, that's six turnouts and that they were programmed on another DCC controller with the um, e-link once it's up and running, as mine actually is although it's disconnected at the moment you, what all you have to do is is select Hornby point con no, I've got that round the wrong way what well, you, you um, select the number you, you click on the turnout on the screen for example and right click and in the, the menu that scrolls down you select the point number and um, put it down as a Hornby type decoder and it will work uh, for that turnout and, and any other turnouts you care to name and um, that's what I intend to do because ultimately the whole object of the exercise for me is computer control of sorts and um, whether I stick with the Hornby e-link is a moot point because um it's got such a mixed press on you know on all the model railway forums for everyone that likes it there are about eight people that have got some sort of criticism and um, I can understand why it's a totally new project and a new product for Hornby and um, had a lot of hype but um my limited experience of it, which I must admit was operating double O gauge trains, was very good. You know, I didn't have any turnouts hooked up, but I had um, a four set, um, a Q1 class, a Hornby OH shunter, a class 31, a schools class, and um, they all worked perfectly actually. For a while, I also had. Um, class 33 but I've taken the decoder out of that and I put it into uh, the class 31 but um, that's a, a digression the um, DCC concept ADS8 is a really good re reliable reasonably priced solenoid decoder 
and that's all I can say on that subject really um, I will go I will add though that for N-gauge solenoids are not really a very good idea in my experience also because the throw of a Hornby no the throw of a Pico turnout I believe is 2 millimeters, and the throw of a seep point motor is 8 so you tend to get very erratic frog switching which is a real shame um, another film on that subject another time that's all for now bye